One of the key factors that differentiates NetApp Storage as a superior platform for Site Recovery Manager is the underlying array technology which provides unmatched deduplication for maximum storage efficiency. Deduplication levels between 50 and 70 percent are common on primary storage in virtual environments. Because NetApp deduplication occurs at the block level, both OS and application data are deduplicated, regardless of the storage protocol used. NetApp snapshot-based on-disk backups provide an easy mechanism for protecting the virtual environment. Snapshots require zero additional space as they are created. Snap Manager for Virtual Infrastructure automates the creation of NetApp snapshots and the replication of backups to an off-site storage array using SnapMirror. FlexFall-based block-level SnapMirror replication copies only unique, deduplicated data to the off-site storage array, maximizing efficiency on the network as well as on disk. NetApp is the only storage vendor that enables the backups which have been replicated off-site to be used as a fully featured VMware Site Recovery Manager DR site. This eliminates the need for a third copy of data to maintain production, off-site backups, and disaster recovery data sets. NetApp FlexClone technology enables the creation of zero-cost DR testing for SRM, Fiber Channel, and iSCSI environments, and for NFS and vSphere. DR test environments can be created extremely quickly with SRM. However, performing a DR test can take some time as all the aspects of the environment are fully validated. NetApp FlexClone technology allows the DR test environment to remain in place while snap mirror replication continues. This is a valuable feature that prevents DR testing from interfering with site-to-site -site replication and affecting RPO times. Due to the virtual storage technology in the NetApp Data on Tap operating system, data stores can be recovered in seconds, regardless of size. These storage technologies enhance SRM, providing an ideal solution with extreme storage efficiency for disaster recovery. This demo of Site Recovery Manager features SRM for vSphere with NFS support. This is a simple VMware environment with several VMs stored completely in NFS data stores. In this demo, we're using Snap Manager for virtual infrastructure to manage the backups of virtual machines and also to create off-site replicas of those backups that we can use for SRM recovery. Integrating SMVI with SRM currently requires that you disable the option to take a VM snapshot during backup. This is because SRM does not yet support recovery of virtual machines with VM snapshots on them. For the demo, we'll run the job manually, but any type of schedule can be set up. We'll run this backup job, which will create NetApp snapshots of all the underlying storage containers for every virtual machine registered to this vCenter server and trigger a snap mirror job to replicate this backup to our off-site array. Configuring SRM to support NFS involves the same process used today for SAN environments. You add a protection site array and a recovery site array and SRM verifies that the storage containing VMs is replicated between the sites. We've already created protection groups on the protected site SRM server, so we'll go to the recovery site SRM server and create a protection group to recover a VM. Select the protection group for an NFS virtual machine. SRM can automatically create a test bubble network inside each ESX host, but we're using a private network so all the VMs can communicate with each other during testing. Before performing the DR test, we can see on the recovery site array that we are using about 108 gigabytes in the aggregate containing the replicated data stores. We'll execute a disaster recovery test.
The NAP adapter for SRM creates flex clone volumes for DR testing. The flex clone volumes are automatically thin provisioned, and because they are based on NetApp snapshots, they consume no additional space from the aggregate. For SMVI integration, the NetApp adapter for SRM will create flex clone volumes for DR tests by using the snapshot created by SMVI. This allows the point in time captured by SMVI to be the one recovered by SRM. Likewise, during a DR failover, the adapter will revert the flex vol back to the SMVI snapshot. The DR test environment has been built and the VM started. While the test environment is active, SnapMirror updates triggered by SMVI, provisioning manager software, or command line can continue in the background without impacting the test environment.